it's Brittany with Power Boat Nation and Speedboat Magazine. We're here at the 2020 Miami Boat Show, and I'm here with a dear friend that I've known for years, Mr. Joe Schulderbrand with uh, Sensation Power Boats, and we're standing on the 40-foot CCX, which is a beautiful boat, and uh, tell us more about it because this interior is very impressive. Yeah, the boat um, is Quad 400s. And uh, we built the boat, we sent it down to Florida to PPI Interior, and we had 10 days to finish the entire interior, design and develop. And I said to the owner of PPI, Jim, I'm very nervous that we need to make the show. They pulled it off, not only did they pull it off, they knocked it out of the park. The interior is spectacular. So as far as your lineup, um, we're on the 40, next to us is the 32. Um, tell us more about the 32 over there. Okay, the 32, that's um, twin 400s on a 32. That would be our most popular model as far as the number that we actually build. Performance Boat Center alone wants at least two a month from us. And um, they have no problem selling them. Um, they they, they pre-sell most of them that they have. It's actually hard for them actually to keep them in inventory. Okay, so as far as dealers, Performance Boat Center is one of your dealers for Sensations. Is there any other dealers that people could go to for Sensations? Yes, yeah, so we have a, a dealer in Michigan, uh, Unreal Sensation. We have Captain's Choice in the Panhandle. Um, we have a brand new dealer in Lake Havasu, um, Horizon Marine. I also put a new dealer in Maryland as well, which is Joppa Town Marine. And then Performance Boat Center has a second location here in South Florida that they operate out of, which makes it easy to come and go from the show. Joe, uh, one of the things that uh, really impressed me about when we first were introduced to your your uh, center console lineups is the CCX. Can you tell us a little bit more about the CCX? Well, that actually stood for Center Cabin Extreme. When we were designing the boat and coming out with it, when the market really, most of us manufacturers didn't transition over to center consoles, most people were telling me you don't need a cabin. You don't need that, the people don't use it. But I disagreed with them and I thought they want a cabin, they're going to want to put things on there because we're sport boat people transitioning over to center councils. And I wanted to give them every amenity and more that they had in their sport boats and improve upon it. So we came up with a cabin of this boat's phenomenal. It's seven feet tall, 11 foot long, five feet wide. You can get air conditioning in there, you can get any amenities you want and let alone you can sleep in there. Yeah. And so it's just, uh, it's called Center Cabin Extreme. That's where the CCX came from. Even on the 32, the overhead is immense. And, and how, do you, how do you achieve that? Well, through CAD and through design, um, that's actually a two-piece boat. So the, the whole deck mates to the hull. So your tolerances are extremely tight. But that boat has over six foot of headroom, yet it's a low profile boat. So that's a very good question. How do we achieve it? Through, through computers and through CAD and by designing and developing brand new tooling is the only way you can do it. And not only do you encourage going down deep, you encourage going up as well because you sea deck all of your, your roof tops. Yes, we, um, we're one of the only manufacturers I think that actually have it so it's very easy ingress egress to get to the top of our boat because the number one complaint I was getting where the women were saying there's nowhere to lay out on these center consoles. I thought there was because they could sit on the front lounge, but I realized that's not laying out. So we made it so they could go up on the top real easy. So we, you can climb up there, there's handles up there, you feel secure, the sides are raised up a little bit. The, the top is very nicely designed. It actually has a little downward slope to it. And be honest with you, the women will be up there before I get the anchor in the water. I personally tested it out at Lake Cumberland, <laughs> so it's, it makes a great dance floor as well. It does. It does. <laughs> yeah, it, well, it, it's, it's a good vantage point because on these center councils now, what the people are doing is they're really going from point A to Party Cove, and they're staying there for seven or eight hours and have, being able to go up on the top and have the nicest vantage point. It, they utilize it. There's always somebody, when you see a sensation, raft it up, there will be people on the top. Yeah. And that's another good thing about having that tall cabin space, because there's a lot of places that we raft up at where you might not want to get in the water, so when you're in a cabin that's tall enough, you can comfortably use the restroom and Correct. change and all that, or if it, a freak rainstorm comes, you could, I mean, you can easily fit, you know, in a 34, you can easily have eight people down there and that's it's comfortable. Right. And we've done it. Yeah. We've done it through the rainstorm, yeah. 
So I have been a boat owner and I'm possibly in the market for another boat. So what makes Sensation, you know, the number one product or maybe why I should steer towards a Sensation? Well, we're definitely a custom builder. There's really no two boats we ever built that were the same. So we work with the customer, find out exactly what their needs are, what they want, colors, um, amenities, things like that. And over and above that, the driving, riding, handling, performance, it's second to none. We actually have the, the hydrodynamics 100% figured out. Now with center consoles and making them the ability to run faster and faster, we've also worked on the aerodynamics of the top as well. So you get more stability and better handling, I believe, in our product than most others that are out there running. And then out of your three models, the 34, with well, the 32, the 34, and then the 40, which is your most popular today? Um, the 32 is the most popular in the number that we build, but since we introduced the 40, um, Performance Boat Center has sold seven or eight of them in the last few months and has backlogged my production schedule. So I would say it's an extremely popular boat as well. We're not going to build as many 40s as we do 32s because of the, the size of it, but uh, the 40 definitely is a leader. All right, well, thank you very much. You. It's always a pleasure talking to you. I'm Brittany with Speedboat Magazine and Powerboat Nation. Stay tuned to both of our websites and social media to find out more of what's up and coming at the 2020 Miami Boat Show.